In this podcast episode, Ben Shapiro delves into various topics, starting with a critique of the Met Gala and its theme based on J.G. Ballard's short story, Garden of Time. Shapiro criticizes the extravagant outfits worn by celebrities at the event, comparing them to the characters in the short story who appreciated culture and dressed well. He highlights the disconnect between the elites at the event and the mob outside, drawing parallels to the current state of society where elites try to co-opt the mob for their own benefit. Shapiro discusses how elites, particularly in the Democratic Party, historically try to appease the mob through economic payoffs, such as the New Deal and Great Society programs. However, this strategy ultimately backfires as the mob becomes more powerful and demands more, leading to the insolvency of programs like Social Security and Medicare. He argues that the lack of moral clarity in society, perpetuated by elites who teach lies and distort values, has created a crisis with the mob being used as a tool by the elites to push their own agendas, leading to confusion and weakened policies. The podcast then shifts focus to the Israel-Hamas conflict, which Shapiro describes as the most morally clear conflict in modern history. He explains the history of Hamas's terrorism and aggression towards Israel, highlighting their use of civilians as human shields and their goal of maximizing Palestinian deaths to gain sympathy from the West. Shapiro emphasizes the importance of recognizing the truth in conflicts like the Israel-Hamas situation, where one side is clearly the aggressor and the other is defending itself. He criticizes the moral confusion in the West and the tendency to blame Israel for defending itself against terrorist attacks. Shapiro discusses how Hamas rejected a ceasefire proposal from Israel only to falsely claim that they had accepted it. The media, including Al Jazeera, reported this false information without verifying the facts. He emphasizes that the West has lost its moral compass, equating Western powers with terrorist groups like Hamas. Shapiro criticizes the Biden administration for siding with Hamas and slow-walking military aid to Israel. The podcast reveals that the U.S., along with Egypt and Qatar, crafted a ceasefire deal without consulting Israel, leading to suspicion and disappointment among Israeli officials. The deal included new elements that Israel had not agreed to, such as a complete military withdrawal from the Gaza Strip and the substitution of live hostages with corpses. Shapiro highlights the U.S.'s role in supporting Hamas and undermining Israel's efforts to dismantle the terrorist group. The White House's refusal to support Israel's offensive in Rafah further demonstrates their alignment with Hamas. The State Department spokesperson claims that an offensive would increase Palestinian suffering, ignoring the fact that Hamas uses civilians as human shields. Shapiro argues that the only way to alleviate Palestinian suffering is for Israel to finish off Hamas in Rafah and establish military control. Despite the escalating conflict, President Joe Biden remains silent on the issue, while Vice President Kamala Harris responds with nonsensical remarks about shrimp and grits. Shapiro criticizes the Biden administration for prioritizing appeasement of the mob over supporting Israel in combating terrorism. He highlights the administration's failure to address the root cause of the conflict and its detrimental impact on both Israelis and Palestinians. Shapiro delves into the manipulation of mobs by elites in academia and politics, pointing out the hypocrisy and cynicism of those who incite unrest while benefiting from the system they seek to dismantle. He mentions Columbia University canceling its graduation ceremony due to security concerns related to pro-Palestinian protesters on campus. Shapiro condemns the indoctrination of children with anti-Israel sentiments, citing a video of young children chanting anti-Zionist slogans. The podcast also touches on Maxine Waters' fear-mongering about Trump militias and potential violence if Trump loses the election. Shapiro criticizes Waters for her history of violent rhetoric and hypocrisy. He discusses the Biden administration's efforts to solidify regulations to prevent Trump from overturning them if he wins a second term labeling it as a form of tyranny.